the Toronto Blue Jays are back in the postseason. And no, we don't have to deal with the wild card for once. It took an extra game, 163 games, to top the Baltimore Orioles. But we did just that to earn the right to play Cleveland. It doesn't feel like that much of a reward, yet here we are. We know what our team looks like. Let's take a look and waste no time. Let's jump right into this and see what we're going up against in the form of the Cleveland Indians. And this is where it already gets to be a little bit interesting. Uh, Tristan McKenzie is their ace, 88 overall. Not the best ERA from this past season. A decent win-loss record. Chris Sale, an old face, might be 35 years old, but still very capable. They have David Paulino, who was okay. Shane Bieber, who was also relatively good this season. And Perry Coggins, so no real weak links in terms of ERA, I'd say, in that lineup. Some of the overalls are a little bit weaker. I'd say we have the advantage on that front. Uh, Sean Morimondo is there, 31. He had a decent okay season. Corey Kluber, uh, now designated to the long reliever spot at 37 years old. They have Chris MacArthur, an old friend in Addison Reed. He was only here for two seasons, but Addison Reed's there. And then the back half of the bullpen is where it gets interesting. Cody Allen at 35 years old. Andrew Miller at 38 and then Roberto Osuna. We started off this series by trading Osuna, and now that might come back to haunt me. Their lineup consists of Jorge Polanco, which, you know, I'm kind of surprised to see he left Minnesota. Ugh, wish he stayed there. 87 overall. Logan Warmoth is there at 28 years old. Teoscar Hernandez. That's where it gets interesting as well. A couple of old faces on this team. He is a 97, a 95 legit. I think we got rid of him. I'd love to know the overall when we got rid of him, but I think we got rid of him. He was like 25, 26, I want to say, and was still in the 70s. It did not look like he was going to make it. And he very much did. And again, that is a decision that could come back to haunt me. I cannot believe that he's turned into the player that he is. That's incredible. Uh, Bradley Zimmer at a 92, 31 years old now. And Miguel Andujar is there. Jeffrey or, yeah, it'd be Jeffrey Marte, would it not be? Friend Mil Reyes, Tony Walters, and Eric Gonzalez. It's one hell of a lineup, to be honest. Michael Brantley, Yandy Diaz. Chesrado Chisholm, another old face. He's up to an 80. And Roberto Perez. Wow. So, you know, between Osuna, Hernandez, and Chisholm. Granted, Chisholm starting on the bench. Uh, some of my past decisions uh, could really come back to haunt me here. I feel good about our lineup, of course. I still feel like we've handled things quite well throughout the years. Uh, but as far as how this goes, time will tell. But I am a little bit concerned. That said, it's time to begin this best of five. Not sure what we're going to look to do lineup-wise. We do have home field, which is pretty nice. Hunter Green, our ace, will start. And lineup-wise, we're pretty much good to go. There's a chance Hurd could be brought in. We know that our bench is very capable. Very capable. I don't think I want Santana leading off. Uh, so unless it's Cassidy, it is going to be Ryan Dahl leading off. Bichette second. Guerrero. Let's have me at four. Santana. Robles works. Let's go Robles to Varys. That works. That works. We'll try it like that. A couple of different options we could go uh, with when it comes to this lineup. But I think it mainly just comes down to players getting the job done. We finished with a slightly better record, but really not sure how much that's going to mean. So again, Tristan McKenzie against Hunter Green. Oh, let's see. And Baltimore ended up beating the Chicago White Sox, and the Angels already took game one. So there you go. LA up one to nothing on Baltimore. We'll see. How this goes for us, though, we can really only afford to focus on our series. He's, he was still wearing a Stroman jersey. <laughs> I guess they don't update those uh, 
those throughout the franchise. That's interesting. Anyway, let's do this. Let's get it underway. Can Hunter Green get off to a good start? That is the question. A one out single followed up by a walk. Zimmer strikes out. Andujar pops out. So there we go. We get out of it. Not bad. As Ryan Dahl gets a leadoff triple, Bo Bichette strikes out. Junior with a successful sack fly, and we're up 1-0. So, good call to leave Ryan Dahl as the leadoff, man. We strike first. It's a good sign. Another one-out single, this time for Reyes Walters. Follows that up, so we're in the exact same situation as last time, and a double play. We're out of it. I'll take it. Let's see if we can get off to a good start here in the bottom of the second. A two-out double for Tavares. Andy Wales not able to to bring him home so green's been in a little bit of trouble he does have a one two three inning there though so that's promising doesn't allow a base runner for the first time leadoff single for cassidy could tell him to steal i'm not going to though let's just have ryan Dahl or bo Bichette get the job done that works two on one out for junior bases loaded with one out for francisco miea Grounds into a fielder's choice. The runner does not score. Santana, bases loaded, two outs, singles, and two runs score. There we go. This is nice for once the offense delivers early on. Robles is up, two on, two out. It's a fly out, but we have an early three to nothing lead. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Zimmer steal. He doesn't have to. Uh, runners at the corners with no outs for Marte, and the Indians are on the board. Reyes walks, bases loaded, no outs. We walk home a run. Gonzalez strikes out for the first out of the inning. Polanco walks. Green's walked in two runs. Warmoth grounds out. Another run scores. Cleveland has the lead. Hernandez strikes out. So just as I talk about us having the lead for once, yeah, we go and blow it in the top of the fourth. So that's promising. And follow that up. At, well, two out double for Cassie. It looked like it was going to be a one, two, three inning. Dahl with a single. Runners at the corners. Two outs for Bo Bichette, who cannot deliver. We'll see if Hunter Green can get off to a better start here. A two-out walk on Marte. Reyes with a two-out single. Walters flies out. That'll probably be the last inning of work there. Could be the last inning of work from Kenzie as well. Junior with a leadoff single. Miea flies out. Santana flies out. Robles grounds out. So we weren't able to do anything there. Green is indeed replaced by Chad Bennett in his blue glasses. We'll see what old Chad can do for us here. A one-out single for Polanco. And... Two out walk for Hernandez. Second walk of the game. Zimmer strikes out, though. No follow-up. We're still down 4-3. to three. As Tavares with the leadoff single. Fielder's choice. Another fielder's choice. Ryan Dahl flies out. Fortunate. The offense has stalled out a bit here. As Chad Bennett continues to deal. Beautifully done. Can we get McKenzie out of the game? Yes, we can. Chris MacArthur is on. Bo Bichette with the leadoff double. That's huge. Junior strikes out. Mieja grounds out. Santana against Morimondo flies out, and we waste a huge opportunity. Jeff Bergman's brought in in the top of the eighth, gives up a single to Walters and a single to Gonzalez. Polanco, fielder's choice, a one out, runners at the corners, Warmoth walks, Hernandez, bases loaded, Tony Dennison's brought on, and it's a two run single. That's now six unanswered runs, fielder's choice. And a fly out. So it's 6-3. to three. Robles leads off the bottom of the 8th with a solo shot. Didn't see that coming. His first hit of the game. It's down to a two-run lead. Tavares with a leadoff single. And absolutely, we will uh, try to steal. And we are successful. Let's have Wales swing away. He strikes out. Cassidy singles. And a run scores. It's now a one-run game. Cassidy will get caught stealing. It was worth it. Dahl against Cody Allen. Singles will go for the steal. He gets it. Bichette flies out in the inning. It's a one-run game. Dennison is still on. He'll face Marte. Or not, Jordan Hicks is brought on. Marte grounds out. Reyes grounds out. Walters grounds out. And that sets us up in the bottom of the ninth against Roberto Osuna. It happens immediately in game one, this matchup. Junior strikes out. Miea grounds out. Santana strikes out. Osuna delivers a 1-2-3 inning, and Cleveland comes back. Six unanswered runs. It finishes 6-5 final. They take game one on the road, and Hunter Green, who was looking relatively okay, and then that fourth inning was just a killer, and the top of the eighth didn't help either. 
Pitching really let us down there. Really let us down. A couple of big moments there, too. We think back. What was it, the seventh inning? Where we start off with a double and then just did nothing. Three straight outs. So pretty disappointing as Marte led the way. RBI, two singles. That was good enough to be the player of the game. And then to have Roberto Osuna get the save does not help the confidence. As we're facing a little bit of a situation here. We're really going to need to win this next game before the series heads to Cleveland. Let's uh, go ahead and sim through that game, and we'll set things up. Chris Sale will be on the mound for the Indians, and we'll see what we can have here. It's going to be Henry Murillo. Uh, Zach Eflin will get the start in Game 3. As far as this lineup is concerned, Mieya disappointed. Santos is actually in by default, huh? Over Wales. But you know what? I am in favor of Wales didn't really do much in that last game. So Santos can start. Of course, Mieya is going to start. We're just going to drop him in terms of the lineup. So I think the big thing here is let's have Robles towards the bottom. Mieya is getting dropped. Uh, can, well, eh, he's still getting dropped, by not, not by that much. Let's have Robles 8th, Santos at 9 and Santana will be dropped as well. Left Santana dropped to seven, which is a little bit disappointing. But I plan, I mean, granted, Santana had two RBIs. Uh, but I plan on, ah, Santana did have two RBIs, man. His one hit was pretty clutch. We're going to leave him ahead of Mieya. And in fairness, Robles had that solo shot. So, ah, it's a tough call. It's a tough call as far as who to reward. It is off of one game. We'll keep uh, we'll keep Santana in the four spot or bump him up to the four spot. Robles fifth. We'll have Tavares, Cassidy, Mieya, and Santos. So Mieya is the the main guy to get punished after a poor performance, and we'll hope that we can bounce back here. In fairness, we didn't have that bad of a game. It was more down to the pitching than anything really letting us down down the stretch but still felt the need to make at least a couple of changes and we'll see Henry Murillo again against an old friend in the form of Chris Sale he wasn't here for long we tried to make sure that we at least got something for him if he was going to stay in the AL he did and now we'll see what happens from here game two we're wearing the red let's see how this goes and we'll see what Henry Murillo can do as he walks Polanco to start the game who gets caught stealing and they're not able to get anything else going in that half of the inning. Ryan Dahl leads off. Bichette. And Junior. One, two, three inning for sale. Even that is... Uh, I didn't, oh, God. Andujar. Solo shot. And back-to-back -back solo shots. Oh, Murillo. Okay. Still just one out in the inning. We get a strikeout. Gonzalez ground out. All right. So Cleveland strikes first. Ah, I completely forget the point that I was going to make uh, before that disaster happens. But that is okay. We'll see. Robles able to steal. Tavares flies out. Cassidy grounds out. So, fortunately, uh, we can't really get anything going thus far. My hope, though, is that the offense is able to show up. One out single for Warmoth and a two-run shot for Hernandez. Three home runs allowed by Henry Murillo already this game. He walks Zimmer to follow up. And we do get out of the inning, but it's 4 to nothing, Cleveland. I was going to say, at Chris Sale's quote-unquote advanced age, we could have a little bit of an issue still if it's just, if the game recognizes, oh, it's Chris Sale, he's going to be dominant. We have two on, two out for Junior, and he strikes out. Lead-off single for Reyes, a follow-up double from Walters. Gonzalez with a sack fly, it's 5 nothing. Polanco grounds out. Warmoth doubles, it's 6 to nothing. Hernandez strikes out to end the inning. Santana will lead off the bottom of the fourth. We're down six to nothing, being out hit eight to two. We get a leadoff single, and obviously we're going to have to go for the steal here. But we do get it. Robles strikes out. Tavares strikes out. Cassidy flies out, and no follow-ups to be had. This is a disaster situation for us. Hopefully Mario can kind of shut things down. Andujar's hits. Marte strikes out, and Reyes grounds out. So not bad, all things considered. Mieya with a single. Santos with a two-run shot. So there we go. Pedro Santos stepping up. He draws into the lineup. 
And it worked out well there. A two-run shot for him. Dahl strikes out. Bichette grounds out. Junior walks with two outs. Santana lines out to end the inning. So we do get on the board. Still a four-run game, however, as Bill Snowden is brought in. Mario's day is done. Walters grounds out. Gonzalez and Polanco. One, two, three inning for the reliever. A closer who's technically our long reliever based off of stamina. As Robles starts off the bottom of the six with a solo shot. It's a three-run game. Sale stays in and is able to get the job done from there. 6-3, heading to the seventh. Let's see here. Hernandez with a one-out single. Back-to-back -back singles. They got a lot of speed on base. On to Jar. Double play. That's huge. That is huge. Santos as Addison Reed's brought in. Uh, we've seen multiple sides to Addison Reed in the playoffs. Santos grounds out. Dahl grounds out. Bichette with a single. We're going to have to go for the steal. It's not the uh, the biggest threat. He does get it. Uh, junior, please. <sighs> two on, two outs. Runners at the corners here for Martin Santana. And he singles. We left him in that better spot for the sake of him having that, uh, that clutch factor in game one. And it pays off. It's now a two-run game. Same situation here for Victor Robles. As Chris MacArthur's brought on immediately. Short day for Addison Reed. Robles singles another run scores. Back to back. Santana and Robles deliver. And here we go. We get a decent amount of speed on the base pads. Same situation. Two on. Two outs. Runners at the corners. Leody Tavares strikes out. Six to five is the score. Heading into the eighth. Of course it was the final score of the last game as well. Snowden strikes out Marte. Reyes goes down. Walters with a two-out single. A walk for Gonzalez. Polanco singles. Bases loaded for Logan Warmoth. And he grounds out. Whew. Snowden. Oh, Snowden gets out of that situation. Thank God. Cassidy is 0 for 3 in this game. He still has a high average. I got to be honest, though. I'm not impressed with him in this game. Cody Allen's up. And I think we're going to... Potentially give Andy Wales the op. Nah, Andy Wales isn't exactly the guy we want to be given the opportunity here. Daryl Delabate. Daryl Delabate might get the chance. Let me check here. Secondary positions, third. Obviously, Santos. No secondary positions at third. Of course, we know we could put Junior. At third as well. You know what? There are there are options here. Obviously, Cassidy plays second. I'm aware of that. I'm just trying to see if there's anybody that I could move over if need be. <sighs> it's not looking all that promising. Like we could move over Bichette. So Cassidy, I just I don't I don't trust you. I'm gonna give Daryl Delabate the chance. And uh, this could be a complete waste. But we'll see what he can do. Delabate walks. Alright. And we will definitely look to get the speed of Andy Wales. He's not that he's not that fast, but still. Uh, he will be whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button. That's great. He'll be brought on for Delabate. So Delabate pinch hits, walks, and is immediately replaced, but I'll take it. Wales won't steal. Please no double play. Back to back walks to begin the bottom of the eighth. This is huge. Santos, I'm so scared of the double play but I want to trust Santos. I'm going to trust Santos. Normally I'd bunt. I'm going to trust him. He pops out. Damn. Ryan Dahl, 0 for 4 in this game. And I love you. I love you, Ryan. You're one of the reasons I'm continuing this series, but I'm giving Jeffrey Hurd the chance. I'm giving Jeffrey Hurd the chance. I'm going to. I'm not going to leave players in and hope they come through. If they're struggling, you're out. I'm ruthless. Hurd strikes out. Shit. Bichette with a chance. He walks. <sighs> Junior, this is it. This is where you make your money. This is where you cement your legacy. Bottom of the eighth, two outs, bases loaded. Please deliver. Andrew Miller's brought on. Junior, please. Fuck. <sighs> On the ninth we go. That's... Mm. Hernandez against Bergman. And it's a leadoff double. Jesus. Zimmer grounds out, runner at third. Andajar sack fly, it's a two-run game. Marte with a two-out single. Reyes into a fielder's choice to the bottom of the ninth. We go. Santana leads off. 
against Roberto Osuna with a double. Huge. Absolutely huge. Victor Robles flies out but moves the runner over. Tavares is 0 for 4. And unfortunately for me, I mean, I'm not going to bring in Jamie Cruz for Tavares. So he has a chance. We're going to let him swing away. Tavares reaches on an error. That brings up Andy Wales. I'm so scared of the double play here, but we're just going to have him swing. Wales, sack fly. I'll take it. One run game. Tavares, the steal. He gets it. Francisco Mieja. Two outs. Runner on second. I want to steal third so badly. Mieja strikes out. And Cleveland takes both games on the road to start this series. One run finals. Seven to six. Our starting pitchers fail to get the job done. Teoscar Hernandez. Oh, boy. Absolutely brutal. Three for five with a home run and a double. And we get embarrassed by our former players again. Roberto Osuna with his second save in as many games. And we are one loss away from going home. So needless to say, the lineup for this next game may be interesting. If we ever needed one pitcher from any point in time in this series to be on the mound, this would be the guy. It's Zach Eflin's opportunity for sure. The question is, the question is, so Mieja and Wales, I'm not impressed with. I'm not. Can anybody, Cassidy can play second, right? He can. Cassidy's going to play second. We're going to have Santos in. And then Mieja. I mean, God, you've been disappointing. Let's have Mieja at the bottom of the order. And from there, it's a tough call. Probably Santos. We could have Tavares. Robles will be ahead of Cassidy. I mean, shit, Robles is going to be ahead of Santana. It's a tough call, though, because we have some decent speed there for Robles. And he's doing pretty well, too. Obviously, the higher steal threat is Ryan Dahl. 375 average there. Bo, I'm sorry. You're getting dropped. We're going to have... I'm doing I'm doing some crazy shit here, but it might get us some better matchups. I think we're going to do Dahl just because of the steal threat. Although, granted, Santana's also a steal threat, but he's a little bit better at the plate. In terms of power, we're going to go Dahl, Robles, Santana. We'll have Cassidy, Bichette, Jr. I'm sorry, buddy, but some people might be like, dude, you're botching this. And you know what? Maybe. But Jr.'s already missed a couple of big-time opportunities. I'm going to reward players that are actually hitting. So it's going to be Dahl, Robles, Santana, Cassidy, Bichette, Tavares, Jr., Santos, and Mieja. And it kind of goes to show when we're talking about, you know, the players who have delivered here, that we have a 99 overall guy who is technically 7th in batting average on this team at the moment. But that's what we're going to do. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe it'll get them slightly different matchups. It's, it's a tough call, but I'm hopeful that we're not exactly done yet. But when you look at you know, two uh, two players there batting 500 right now. And you factor in the walks as well. Basically, if we pitch to Teoscar Hernandez, he's hitting the ball. So that's unfortunate. But we'll see. We're in Cleveland. We need to dig ourselves out of this hole. It's nice that we're back in the playoffs, but we are at the point and the team's strong enough that we want a little bit more than that. We'll see if we can find ourselves out of this, uh, you know, find ourselves out of this situation in just a few short games. But it's one game at a time. Ryan Dahl leads off the top of the first with a walk. And, of course, we will go for the steal. He gets it. I really want to play small ball here, but Robles has been on fire. He flies out. Santana strikes out. I always play small ball. Always. Because it doesn't work out otherwise. Cassidy flies out, and we waste the opportunity. Always play small ball. Polanco flies out. Warmoth grounds out. Hernandez grounds out. 1-2-3 inning for Eflin. Bichette can't do anything. Tavares and Junior. 1-2-3 inning for Cleveland. It's a pitching battle thus far. Eflin killing it. Santos flies out. Mieja grounds out. Dahl with a two-out double. 
Robles singles and the runner scores. So there we go. We strike first with two outs. It's a double and a follow-up single. And we have the lead. Robles is successful on the steal attempt. Santana with a two-run shot. There we go. Now can our starting pitching hold on? If Zach Eflin can't hold on, nobody can hold on. There we go. Santana delivers a two-run shot with two outs. Cassidy strikes out. But I will take it. Eflin, what can you do? You can go three up, three down again is what you can do. Bichette walks. Not the best steal threat, but we're still going to go for it. And he gets it. We're going to bunt with Tavares. And he got a single out of it. Oh, my God. We're going to we're gonna bunt with Junior. Move both runners over. And uh, let's... I really... You know what? No. Sack fly. Just get the runner in. Just get the runner in. Play small ball. I regret it every time I don't. Mieya, one on. Two outs. Strikes out. But we're up four to nothing. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, look, I know in real life, Santos, you know, one out, two runners in scoring position. Fuck yeah, swing away. No doubt about it, right? No doubt. That never works for me, <laughs> ever. So I'm sorry. It's, this isn't, this is only real baseball to a certain extent, you know? Polanco, Warmoth, Hernandez. Oh my God, Zach Eflin, you beautiful man. Ryan Dahl with a leadoff walk yet again. You know what's coming. He gets the steal. Bunt for Robles. Corey Kluber's on. All right. So their starter is done already. Corey Kluber, the long reliever. We've had some trouble with him in the past. Robles reaches on an error. That's two straight bunt, uh, bunt attempts for Robles that have resulted in uh, base hits, I believe. Actually, no, wait, that was Tavares. That was Tavares. My bad. Santana. Actually, no, wait, it wasn't. Santana, I know what you did last time. You're bunting. It's for the greater good. Let's sack fly with Cassidy. Runner scores 5 nothing. The Shet grounds out. So I know Santana was in a prime position to maybe do some damage. I don't care. I'll take one run at a time. Zimmer with a leadoff walk. First base runner for Cleveland. On to Jar into a double play. Marte grounds out. Oh my god, Zach Eflin. A legend returns. Tavares with a solo shot. Six to nothing. Beautiful. Junior grounds out. Santos pops out. Mieya strikes out. But it's six to nothing. We've scored a run in every inning except the first two. Zach Eflin walks Walters and then gives up his first base hit of the game in the bottom of the sixth. And there it goes. It was going so well. A ground out for Reyes. He walks Walters. Gonzalez with a single and then a three-run shot for Polanco. A follow-up double for Warmoth. Hernandez walks. A fly out. Runners to the corners for Andajar. And... <sighs> oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. A six run, bottom of the sixth. Ryan Dahl restores the lead, but I can't be overly happy because a six run lead just went up in smoke. We have regained the lead. Zach Eflin falls to pieces. As Bergman can't record the final out, and it's tied... Seven all at the end of the seventh inning. Horrifying. Junior with a two-out double. Santos can't drive him home. Dennison's on. Lead-off single for Andajar. Follow-up single. Runners at the corners. No outs. Chisholm steals. Reyes walks. Walters pops out. Gonzalez strikes out. Polanco flies out. We're out of a bases-loaded situation. Holy hell. Mieya strikes out. Dahl, solo, home, run, Ryan Dahl. Robles grounds out. Santana flies out. James Who is on. Jesus, man, this game. I just, it's, my God. Warmoth grounds out. Hernandez grounds out. Zimmer grounds out. And the Blue Jays <laughs> live to see another day, an 8-7 to victory in Game 3 on the road, 2-1, series lead now for Cleveland. Ryan Dahl saves the day with two solo shots. Tony Dennison will get the W, and what? how do you even explain that game? Oh my god, it was going so well for Zach Eflin, another Hall of Fame worthy performance. 
and then it just comes crashing down. But thankfully, the offense was there to survive that situation. And now we play game four. I, I don't know what else to do other than to just move on and say, all right, next game. That's the only thing to do as Vasquez will get the start. That is literally the only thing to do after a game like that. We just have to, we have to move on. Francisco Mieja has been brutal. I might give Andy Wales the chance. I'm not going to start Cruz, but Mieja has been absolutely shocking. Yeah, we'll we'll give Wales a chance. He'll be back in the lineup. From there, it's a tough call. It's a tough call, Bichette. Yeah, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do Cassidy, Bichette. Junior, and we're going to stick with that same top four. Dahl, Robles, Santana's, uh, Santana, and Tavares. Junior now up to the five spot. Again, rewarding players based on their performance in this series. I cannot, but I thought we were going to get swept. I really did. I really did. Down 2 nothing. the second Eflin fell apart, I thought we were done. Like, how were we ever going to survive that? Yet somehow, we did. We're still here. One game at a time, right? <laughs> but, I mean, damn. Eflin with the best start possible until it fell off. What are we going to see from another one of our younger players? It's such a young, talented rotation that we have. But it's uh, it's a tough call outside of Eflin as far as proven playoff performances. Ryan Dahl leads off against Shane Bieber. We'll see if we can get anything going here. We can nod. It's a 1-2-3 inning. Vasquez gives up a leadoff single to Polanco. Back-to-back -back singles. We're in trouble already. And three consecutive hits. A runner scores. Oh, my God, please. Andujar strikes out. Marte, field is choice. Reyes, oh, my God. Somehow, we get out of that out of that situation, only allowing one run. Incredible. There's no reason we should even be in this game at this point. It's another 1-2-3 inning. Needless to say, I'm worried about Vasquez, but maybe he's just a slow starter. Two out, uh, two out single for Polanco, and we do get out of that situation. So, oh boy, that's that's it's been nerve wracking so far. Cassidy walks, 83 steal rating. We'll obviously go for it. He gets it. Wales will bunt him over or pop out. Uh, Mieja, because of that, will swing away. He pops out. Ryan Dahl grounds out, and we strand our first base runner. Our first base runner of the game, Andreas Vasquez. What can you do? One, two, three inning. Not bad. Maybe he is just a slow starter. Can our offense get going? Speaking of slow starts, Tavares is on base. Good speed, terrible steal rating. We're still going to go for it, and he gets caught. That's fine. We have to be aggressive. We have to be. Let's see what Vasquez can do here. In the bottom of the fourth, he can give up a solo shot to Reyes. He gets out of the inning without any more damage. 2-0 Cleveland. Junior strikes out. My God. Bichette grounds out. Cassidy strikes out. And we are off to a terrible, miserable start here offensively. As two walks. Vasquez gets out of it. Huge, huge moment there. Wales. Singles. We have a base runner. We're not going to go for it with him, actually. Too slow. Mieja, fielder's choice. Dahl, double play. Inning over. Yikes, as... All right, Chad Bennett's in. Let's see what Chad can do. Almost a 1-2-3 two, inning, two-out single for Walters. He gets out of it. All right, Bennett's been a great reliever for us. Robles, triple. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Santana, I'm going to give you free reign here, buddy. He grounds out Tavera. Sack fly, please. He strikes out. Oh, my God. No, not like this. Junior doubles. Thank God. Oh, my God. Oh, Vlad Jr. finally delivers. Two outs. I doubt Bieber stays on to face Bichette. He doesn't. Chris MacArthur's brought on. Bichette with a two-run shot. Yes. Oh, my God. Junior and Bichette finally show up. Two of our more underperforming players in this series. I mean, outside of Francisco Mieja. We have battled back from 2-0 down. We have a one-run lead. Cassidy strikes out to end the inning. That was gigantic. 
Can we get the job done here? Bergman's on, which scares me, but I'll allow it. Polanco flies out. Warmoth singles. Hernandez into a double play. Bergman gets the job done to the top of the eighth. We go. Wales against Morimondo. Ground out. Miea, strikeout. Dahl, grounds out. Bottom of the eighth. Will Bergman stay on? He will not. Jordan Hicks is here. What can he do? One, two, three inning. Last chance for a bit of insurance. Robles, doubles. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Santana, you let me down last time. Bunt him over? Yes. Tavares, sack fly. Yes, there we go. We have that little bit of insurance. Junior swings away with a single. Bichette strikes out to the bottom of the ninth we go. 4-2 to two lead. James Hu is back on. Reyes strikes out. Walters flies out. Gonzalez lines out. The Toronto Blue Jays are not done yet. We will see you in Game 5 back in Toronto. The first two games belong to Osuna and Cleveland. The next two belong to James Hu and the Toronto Blue Jays. The home team has yet to win in this series. Bennett gets the W. Robles, the top hitter for us, as MacArthur gets the loss. What a win. What a game. Junior and Bichette really stepped up there. Robles with a triple and a double. That huge seventh inning for us, and we were able to hold on and get the job done. Shout out to a very strong start. I mean, the bullpen was great, but a very strong performance from Vasquez. I'll take it. Only allowed two runs. So well done to Andreas Vasquez. We will not overlook that performance. That's the type of composed performance that we needed. No six-run deficit early on. We are going back home. It's game seven, and I'm thinking Villalobos will be pitching, which is a little bit scary as you get a look at the averages in the RA for each team up to this point. I could start Green, who struggled, or Maria. I'm not going to do that. Rolando Villalobos will get the chance. The 23-year-old, he was our weakest pitcher in terms of ERA, but he was still under a four. He was our weakest pitcher throughout the season. He will face their ace, Tristan McKenzie. So that's the big difference here, is we're going to trust the five guy against their first. Oh, boy. All right, lineup-wise. The big decision here is whether or not I want to leave on Miea as a defensive option because he has been anemic at the plate. Like, he has not shown up. Cruz isn't that bad with a 78. Field. You know what? I'm, this, this might win us or lose us the series, but I'm going with Cruz in the nine spot. Wales hasn't done much, but he still deserves the chance over Santos, I'd say. So who else do we have? The 250 for Cassidy, 267 for Bichette. So we'll start Bichette there. 294 for Santana. He's going to be dropped ever so slightly. So it is going to be Dahl, Robles, Jr., Leotis Tavares, Martin Santana. That looks fine. Bichette, Cassidy, Wales, and Jamie Cruz is going to be in. That's going to be an interesting one to see if he can deliver. And knowing that we don't have our all-star behind the plate for this next game. But again, he has been absolutely abysmal. Absolutely abysmal in this postseason run so again ryan Dahl as the leadoff and we'll see what we can do needless to say i am a tad bit nervous oh god right 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 we got this first two games go to cleveland next two games go to toronto we can do this I have faith in the team because I had no choice but to have faith in the team. And we don't know what's going on in the other series. I would assume that the Angels have beaten Baltimore. But as we've shown, just because you're down doesn't mean you're out. Game 5, I don't think anybody expected us to get to this point. I certainly didn't. Via Lobos, tad bit stocky apparently. <laughs> Here we go. Rolando, I have faith in you. One, two, three, inning to start. Beautiful. Ryan Dahl, leadoff single. Oh, my God. This guy could be something special. 
He really could be. Gets the stolen base. We're playing small ball early. Robles buns him over. Junior walks. Right. Still go for the sack fly. Tavares, he gets it. I'll take that. one nothing lead early. Santana will swing away. He flies out. Again, in theory, not the best way to go, but I will take any run I can get. I have to. You guys have seen how it's gone throughout, you know, throughout the series, season after season. We just got to get runs wherever the hell we can. Zimmer walks to start off the top of the second. He gets caught stealing. On to Jar and a two-out single from Marte. He steals. Reyes grounds out, though, and we're out of that situation. Bo Bichette with a leadoff single. We're going to be aggressive here yet again. He gets it. Cassidy bunts him over. Wales knocks him home. 2 nothing. Cruz in his first at bat grounds out. But we have the 2 nothing lead early. Walter strikes out. Gonzalez flies out. Polanco flies out. 1-2-3 inning. A very strong start for Villalobos and Ryan Dahl. I swear to God, I'm continuing this series until he retires. <laughs> He's going to be so good. Oh my God. Robles grounds out. Junior grounds out, Tavares flies out, but Ryan Dahl makes it 3-0 with that leadoff solo shot. What a guy. Imagine if Hernandez was in the outfield with him. Yeah, I agree. Speaking of which, uh, one out single and a triple for Zimmer. Cleveland's on the board. Andajar pops out. Marte strikes out. So we limit it to one run. That triple does the damage. Still a 3-1 lead heading into the bottom of the fourth. Can we get anything going? Bo Bichette gives us an opportunity. Again, we're going to be aggressive as shit. He gets it. Cassidy will swing away. Strikes out. Wales with a two-run shot. Andy Wales, where was, where has that been this entire series? Two-run shot for Wales. Five to one on the board. Cruz with a single as well, doing something that seemed impossible. Our catcher has a hit. We're going to have him steal to be aggressive because I'm not against having Dahl lead off the next half inning. He does get caught. Five-one lead though through four innings. Reyes flies out. Walters flies out. Gonzalez, one, two, three inning. Villalobos. Dahl strikes out. Robles Jr. Okay, we can't get anything going there, but it's still 5-1. Sixth inning gets underway. Polanco with a leadoff single. Lead runners out there. Stolen base for Warmoth. Hernandez grounds out. Zimmer flies out. No RBI triple this time. Bottom of the sixth. McKenzie, will he stay on? He will not. Morimondo's in. Tavares strikes out. Santana with a solo shot. When Martin Santana gets a hold of the ball, it's gone. He's just that damn good. It's just, is he going to get a hold of the ball? Bichette with one out with a double. Oh my god, yes. Cassidy, swing away. He walks. Wales strikes out. Cruz walks. Bases loaded. Two outs. Ryan Dahl, make yourself a hero. Strikes out. <laughs> damn it. 6-1 though, heading into the seventh inning. Villalobos still on, and he, ooh, I was going to say mows him down. Reyes with a solo shot at 6-2. to two. Walter strikes out, though. Not bad. Robles walks. Morimondo stays on, and we'll give Robles the chance here. Steal. He gets caught. Junior swings away with a double. He should have been stealing. He should have stolen. I know. I know. Tavares swing away. Grounds out. Santana grounds out as well to the top of the eighth we go. I imagine Villalobos is done, but what a great effort. He stays in. Leadoff single for Gonzalez. Now he's done. Still, strong effort from Villalobos. Might have been enough for us, too. Bergman gives up a two-run shot. 6-4. to four. Warmoth grounds out. Hernandez strikes out. Zimmer grounds out. So we're out of it, but it's now a two-run game. Bichette singles. Morimondo's still in. We're going to try to steal with Bichette, too. Let's be aggressive. He gets it. We're going to bunt with Cassidy. He moves him over. Wales on the sack fly. He fails. Cruz swings away and grounds out. Here we go. This is it. This is it. James who has three saves in this game or has uh, two saves consecutively looking for his third. I probably just jinxed it. We're three outs away. Andajar pops out. Marte grounds out. Reyes. We're one out away. The Toronto Blue Jays. Holy hell. <laughs> the Toronto Blue Jays have come back from 2 nothing down. We have reverse swept Cleveland. And we are going to the ALCS for the first time 
in a long time. From 2 nothing down. Via Lobos pitches a gem. <laughs> and somehow, this young yet talented team, unproven as they may be, was able to get the job done. We're moving on. Bo Bichette, your first star player of the game. Two runs. Oh my god. We got it done. We got the job done. Players stepped up down the stretch. Wales, Cruz, the reverse sweep is complete. Bichette was four for four. Ryan Dahl, Wales, Santana with home runs. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Cassidy as well, at least wasn't miserable, but crazy. 6-4 is your final. Two doubles, three home runs in this game. RBIs for Tavares, Wales, who had three of them. Dolan, Santana, and James Who. Three wins, three saves for our all-star closer. And we are going to the ALCS where we will be taking on either the Orioles or the Angels. And it's Baltimore. They lost game one. Game 163 wasn't enough. Because this isn't over. Toronto and Baltimore. The winner goes to the World Series. We have home field advantage. Thanks to that 163rd game. We are playing Baltimore in the ALCS in the next episode. Over in the NL, the Dodgers have a 1-0 lead on Washington. Absolutely crazy. I, I can't believe that just happened. And to be honest, I don't know who the hell to trust here in the rotation. Uh, in terms of the amount of time we have off, we really don't. So I think we have to keep the rotation the same. But needless to say, the effort of Vasquez and Villalobos, Eflin up to like the sixth inning of that game, really got the job done. And then you look here too, Snowden is a long reliever. Eh. We need to like just option to drop Bergman. Like, can I flip these two around somehow to have Bennett be there? <laughs> Is that how the game bases it? Because I don't want Bergman in the lineup all that much. We didn't even really get to see much of Hicks and German. And in fairness, who has the best clutch rating? It's Dennison. So Dennison's supposed to be in that spot anyway. So Bergman, buddy. You're getting dropped to the bottom of the list. We're going to have Bennett, Hicks, Jermon, Bergman, and then Dennison as the setup man at this point. And then, of course, James, who three innings pitched, hasn't allowed a single hit. He is a monster. It's just whether or not we can get into situations to use him. And then lineup-wise, Ryan Dahl is the man. Bo Bichette stepped up down the stretch. Junior did well, but uh, he could be better. Santana, again, if he gets a hold of the ball, it's it's going to have a good outcome. Francisco Mieja is a very big problem. He'll be back in the lineup for the start of the series, but he'll definitely be in the nine spot. Robles had a great series. Tavares was pretty solid. Wales and Cassidy, I mean, they showed up down the stretch at least. So we'll see how that goes. And then shout out to Jamie Cruz for that effort in that final game. Guys, I will see you in the next episode. Our ALCS matchup against Baltimore. For now, you know the deal. Support the video, support the channel. Show your support with this series. You're the reason I keep it going, albeit viewership might be down for this series compared to NHL, but it's all well and good. I'm still having fun with this, and for the people who are still enjoying the series, I do thank you. Check out everything in the description, notification bell, all that fun stuff. I will see you guys in the next one in the ALCS Reverse Sweep Completed.